Today, I have Peggy Stu Crozier here with me, and she's an 11th grader at the Early County High School. She was nominated and currently serves as a representative for the Be Strong program, which is a global organization. Today, she's going to share with us a resource that can help individuals who are experiencing depression or a victim of bullying. Peggy Sue, can you tell us about um, the resource that you wanted to share with us today? Yes. So the resource is an app called Be Strong, and you can get it from wherever you get your apps. It's a free app. And I really think you should download it, even if you're not in a struggling time, just because you might be near someone that is. And so you can help them. That sure. is good for intervention, people who are dealing with bullying and depression. They have a suicide hotline, so it's a, you immediately can get help. And there's also the crisis hotline. And then if you're just being bullied and you need help, there is another hotline where it's texting and so it's almost like you're texting a friend and then if you also need help like resources like for example food around you they have a place where you can put in your zip code and it will give you local help and they'll have like a lot of options for what you need help in so you can get all those resources from just one app yes and what was the app called again be strong so if um you felt like you were being bullied at school but you didn't really want to talk to the school counselor or a teacher about it at school and you were a little nervous to tell your parent about it at home you could use this app that's correct so what would you do in that situation like if you didn't feel comfortable talking to anybody about it but you did have the app handy what would what well, would you do? You would open the app, and as soon as you open the app, every time it has an arrow pointing to where the immediate help is, and you would just click that, and then you would go to the one where it says local help, or, and then you would click that. Okay, so you would choose which option option you want. They have three options. They have the the 911 and the suicide prevention hotline, and then your help for just bullying. Okay, so you, in this situation that I just described, you would probably want to go to the help for just bullying and, and you could just chat back and forth with somebody? Yes, that's correct. Like a licensed professional? I think that's They are licensed, all yes. of them. Yes, okay. Um, so you could kind of describe the scenario of what happened and then they and would then provide they would some guidance. If someone was really bullying you or if you're just like, having a hard time and they'll like guide you through your emotions wow that sounds like a fantastic resource and anybody can download it from whatever app store they use and um it's free and it will um once you get in there and start clicking away it'll show you what resources are in available in your area yes awesome well, so why do we need the be strong app well be strong has realized that most of the students and like kids, there's all these policies about no bullying, but we never really pay attention to it. And so what they've done is they've worked to equip and empower the youth to ignite change in peer behavior. What do you mean when you say empower, empower youth? It's meaning most people, they don't go for help because they're not confident in seeking, like they'll feel embarrassed, but with this app, all you have to do is talk to someone in an app and they don't have to, like you don't have to talk to someone in face so you're not as scared. And so it makes them feel more powerful and confident when working with them. Okay, so um, by having the app, you feel um, you're less intimidated to ask for help and you feel more confident because you do have the app and the tools at your fingertips. Does Correct. that sound right? Um, will you give us an example of what it might look like if you were talking to somebody about a situation where you felt like you're being bullied. Yeah. So in here, it talks about the person texted the support and said, every day at lunch, the same boy comes over to my table and makes fun of my clothes and calls me ugly. And then the support will ask questions like, is this the first time they made fun of you? And once you say no, then they'll start to help you. And then the support after talking about the problem said the fact that he teases you after he de every day and is constant is the case you're being targeted and you're being bullied so it's letting you know and so you're self-aware 
and then it tells you how to solve it and it gives you it guides you through steps of how you can solve it with while it's going on at that moment so the licensed professional prompts you with questions to figure out more about the situation that you encountered or that you've experienced or have been experiencing. Just to make sure it's actual bullying and okay. not you overthinking. So first it assesses the situation to see if it is even bullying. If it is, then the licensed professional then gives you some guidance, tips, supports for how to um, resolve the situation right. moving forward. Wow, that sounds like an awesome app. Thank you for joining us today, Peggy Sue, and sharing this awesome resource with us. And we hope you all will take a few moments to go to your app store and download the Be Strong app. October is World Bullying Prevention Month. And in honor of that, the Early County School System is challenging individuals, groups, like classrooms, um, clubs, teams, community members, businesses, and organizations to participate in our bullying prevention poster contest. The theme this year is stomp out bullying and end the hate. Poster, the deadline for poster submissions is October the 17th at midnight. All submissions must be digital, so you can make your poster um, in an online platform, or you can do a hands-on hard copy poster and just take a picture of it to dig digitally sub submit your entry. Winners will be featured on an upcoming episode of Wellness Tips with Lori. Um, we'll, we hope you'll participate. Thank you for joining today's session. And I hope you'll stay tuned for our upcoming sessions.